What's poppin' everybody? I'm Ben from Powell Lacrosse, part of the Powell String Team here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to string up a Powell 2 transition head. Let's get into it. So to start, you're gonna to wanna to grab your mesh and your top string. Those are your two materials you're gonna need here. Right here, we have our Frontier Powell mesh. And so we're gonna spread it out a little bit. Find the nine diamond side, count them across right here. The mesh is gonna to wanna to turn that way, so we're gonna turn it that way. Pinch the top here. Make sure it's all spread out, ready to go. And then you're gonna grab your top string. Grab the top string. You're gonna to wanna to tie a knot about two inches in from the end. Just like that. And we're ready to go. All right, so now that we have everything ready to go here, we're gonna start stringing this bad boy up. So you got your string, you got your mesh. You're gonna put the string right through the top hole there. Pull it nice and tight. You're gonna take your mesh and we're gonna be working on this uh, diamond first. So you're gonna go through the front of it and when I say front of it, I'm talking about where the ball is going to be sitting this side. So you're going to go through it once, back through the outside of the head. Leave that a little, little bit loose. You're going to go back through the whole diamond one more time. And then back through the head again. So before you tighten it, it's going to look a little bit like that. You're going to pull the second string that you put through second time you went around there and you're gonna pull it nice and tight so then the mesh is nice and locked to the head so now we're gonna start with these diamonds up here so for these diamonds you're gonna want to be using the front part of the mesh so this back little flap you're just gonna kind of pull up because we're not gonna be using that so to start you're gonna go through the front of the mesh just the front part see the flap is right there Pull that out. So now the string is on the back side of the mesh. And we're going to start on our first diamond. So you're going to go through the back of the mesh without the overlap. See, we just pull that up right there. Through the front of the head. And then this loop, you're going to want to leave this a little bit. And you're going to be working on the top. So if you turn the mesh right here, you can see these top diamonds. You're gonna be going down through that while also staying inside this loop. So that's your first part of the knot. You can pull that down nice and tight. And then you're gonna be doing the opposite when you go up and around again. I'll show you that right here. So you're gonna go back up through, through the top part that I was just talking to, to, to you guys about, through the back part of the head, if I can get it here and then out through that same diamond that you initially went through. You're gonna have a little loop here. Make sure the string goes through the loop. You're gonna pull it down, over. I usually pinch it with my finger here to keep it nice and tight. Pull it back towards you. So that's your first knot. We're gonna go through it a few more times so you guys can get a hang of it. So the second one, same exact thing. Through the back part of the mesh, front of the head, down through the top. And on this one, you can kind of see the top is gonna to be connected to here and here. So it's easier to find the top on that second one. You're gonna pull it down, nice and tight. And now we're doing the opposite. We're going up through the top, through the back of the head, keep the loop, out through the front of the mesh. String goes through the loop, pull it over, nice and locked up. There we go. So now we're on to the third one here. Go a little bit quicker, if you guys can. Down, tight, back up through, out through the hole. Make sure that string is inside the loop. Pull it over, lock it, tight. All right, so now you have this left side done. So now we're gonna be working on the right side. Pretty much the same thing up until the lock on the head, but just a little bit further over. 
So through the back of the mesh, through the front of the head. Oh, and on this one, you're gonna wanna skip a diamond. So you skip a diamond and go to the second one. Down through the top, through this loop right here. Pick that flap up, we don't need that. Down, over, nice and tight. So again, you're gonna be working that top part of the mesh. Up, through the back of the head. Out through the front of the mesh. See how that got a little loose there? You're gonna wanna pull it down, over, clamp it. There you go. So I'm gonna finish this up here with the last two. Down through. You're gonna wanna make sure that's nice and tight so this is, you don't want this being loose at all or else you'll see it in your knots. You wanna keep them consistent and tight. When you're doing this, you can check your previous knots and make sure they all look the same. Cause sometimes if you mess one up, you can turn around the, Turn it around to the front. You can see a little mess up or something like that. You want to spot it so you don't have to unstring the whole head. Down through there. Back up through. Pull it down. Tighten her up. And now we have all six diamonds on top done. So now we're going to be doing this again on this other side. So we're just doing the complete opposite. First, you're gonna start with the mesh, go through that front part, up through the top diamond there, and the inside of the head. Grab this, you're gonna to wanna to go through both now. So you're gonna put this flap down, you're gonna go through the back, out to the outside of the head. So there's your first loop, one more time. where it gets a little bit tougher. You're gonna pull the first one, pull that nice and tight, pull the second one, and then you're gonna knot it off. All right, and I know we got through a lot there, but if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and we'll try to get to all of them. So now that we did the top string, we can jump right into the sidewall. So we're gonna start. We got both of our sidewall strings cut up here. We're gonna start with a knot. So you're gonna do your knot right there. Leave about two or three inches just to be safe. Grab the other string. We're gonna do the exact same thing. That one, two or three inches. So you got both your sidewall strings. We're just gonna be using the left one here to start. So you're gonna skip a hole. You're going in the third sidewall hole. You're gonna go through the outside of the head. This is your top, This is your first diamond you're gonna be using right here. So you're gonna go through the front of the mesh, back to the outside of the head, back through the front of the mesh again. So this is just your lock down to the head. Keeps the mesh in place and it's gonna start your sidewall. Pull that down nice and tight. And then you're gonna be skipping one more sidewall hole. And this is gonna be your anchor knot. So you're gonna go through the outside of the head, leave this loop right here. You're gonna go through the front of the mesh. And then you can see this loop that's forming right here. You're going to want to take the string and go straight through it down towards the bottom of the head. When you're done, you're going to want to grab the mesh. I usually grab it right as it comes out of the mesh, or grab the string right as it comes out of the mesh there. Pull it down. I usually lock it with my fingers here. Oh. Pull that. And that's your first anchor knot. That's the only one of those you're gonna be doing. From here on out, we're gonna be doing a different knot that we just call the pile knot here. So 
to start right after you're done with this one, you go through the top of the mesh to the back side there. We're just going right down to the next hole through the outside, leave this loop a little bit. You're going to be doing the same thing. You're going straight. Here, I'll make it so you guys can see it a little bit better. Straight down through towards the bottom of the head. You're going to pull it from the inside. I usually lock it with my finger, like I said, and pull it right down nice and tight. So then, there's your knot. That's the pollen knot that we were just talking about. You're going to go back up through the mesh, through the front side where the ball is going to sit. And pull this down over and tight. It's going to keep this a little tighter and that's, going to, that's what's going to form your channel. So then we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to skip one. So we're going through the back of the mesh. Skip a hole, remember through the outside, let this loop sit here, and straight down towards the bottom of the head. We're gonna pull this nice and tight. Lock it with your finger here, pull it down. Then you're gonna do the same thing. You gotta go up, grab the mesh from the front side, pull it right down and over. Then, so this is what uh, is gonna make your channel here for the mesh. So now we're just putting an end to it before we go and do the, uh, the knots that are gonna make your pockets. You're gonna do the same pollen knot through the outside, down through, pull it tight here. Nice, down and tight. So that's your first part that's gonna create the channel. And then next, we're gonna be working on the pocket. So now that we have this top part done, we like to string up the other side too, so they're nice and even. And you can press this in and just see your channel that you have working here. So then, once you're done with this part, these two are nice even up. You're gonna start with the pocket here. All right, so to start, we're gonna keep doing these pollen knots all the way down, just like these three we did already. So we're gonna go through the back side of the mesh. And when we pull it down, it's gonna look like that. So it's gonna sit, they're all gonna sit the same, just like that. Then you're gonna go through the outside of the head, down, down through towards the bottom. And you're gonna pull out, pull down, nice and tight. So we're gonna do that a few more times here, through the outside of the mesh, through the back side, pull it down, See how it's gonna sit just like that. Through the outside of the head, leave that loop. You're gonna go right down towards the bottom of the head. Pull that nice and tight. There you go. So you got two of them done there. We're gonna do a few more here. Through the outside. And when I'm doing this, I like to have my hand in here and push it out, just so you can feel the pocket, feel the channel, make sure everything's nice and smooth. See how it's sitting, make sure everything looks good. Through the outside there. Go through that loop, pull it tight. Yeah, so every time I tie a knot, I'm pretty much checking the pocket, make sure everything's good, because you want it to be smooth, you don't want any bumps in here. If there are any bumps, you might wanna go back and try to do those knots again. All right, so then you're gonna go one more time here. Through this part, we're not gonna be skipping any holes until we get down to this bottom part. So there you go, same pile knot. Pull that down tight. So right there, we just did one, two, three, four in a row. We're gonna press that mesh in, go through the back. This is where we're gonna skip one. So you do four in a row, then you're gonna skip one hole. Skip this one. Go down, get that loop, go right through the loop. Pull it from the inside of the head, tighten it up. 
pull it down. There's your knot. All right, so now you have all these knots in here. So now you're just looking to finish up, tie it off at the bottom. So you're gonna do the same thing through the back of the mesh again. Like we have the whole way down here through the inside, inside of the head. Pull this as tight as you can. And then you're gonna knot it off. Bang, and there you go. That's your Paul sidewall pattern right there. So now that we have the top string dialed up, sidewall ready to go, we're gonna get through the bottom lace. So you're gonna cut probably about 12 inches of uh, shooting lace here. You're gonna tie a knot, probably about two or three inches from the end, give yourself a little bit of space there. Then to start, we're gonna use this furthest left hole. We're gonna go up through. Then these are the diamonds you're gonna be using, this line right here. So you're gonna go out through the first one. Pull it right towards you. You're gonna skip three. So one, two, three. Then you're gonna go down. And then pull this down. And you're gonna go up through that second hole. Leave probably about inch, an inch there of slack, just because that'll help with your pocket. You're gonna go down the third hole back up through that same diamond that you were initially, you initially went through. Then you're gonna skip three again. One, two, three. Down through the last one. Down through the furthest right hole. And then you can tie your knot. And that thing's all ready to go. And then if you want your pocket a little bit smaller after this, you're gonna to wanna to tighten this up. If you want your pocket a little bit bigger, you can loosen this up a little bit. All right, so now that you have your bottom lace done up, we're gonna move on to the shooting string and the shooter cords. So first we're gonna tackle the shooting string here. So you're gonna put it in the fifth hole down, which is also the same hole that your anchor knot uses. So you're gonna go through the outside here. You're gonna take both ends of it. I usually like to even it up. Then the line of diamonds that we're gonna be going on is this one. So an easy way to find it is, it's in between the one that your anchor knot's hooked to and your pile knot's hooked to, right in the middle there. Or if you count down from the top, it's five rows down. So first, to do the shooting string, you're gonna take the one that's on the back side of the head is always gonna go on the bottom. The one on the front side is always gonna go on the top. So right there you pull them and that's what it's gonna look like. So again, the one on the back side of the head is always on the bottom. The one on the front side of the head is always on the top. So you're gonna pull that tight there and they're gonna look just like that. One more time, always on the bottom, always on the top. Pull those nice and tight and they're gonna look just like that. If they don't look just like that, you might wanna go back Rewatch that part a little bit and just try to get that dialed in because we're going to be doing that all the way across. So now I'm going to get through this. This one's always on the bottom, that one's always on the top. It's an easy way to remember it, and it comes out perfect every time. So I'll get through here, and then when you're doing your shooting cord, you're also going to be doing the exact same thing. So once you get this method down, it's pretty easy. And it looks pretty neat and nice there. All right, so you're gonna get through the whole row of diamonds. And also when you're doing this, you wanna make sure you're going to the diamond right next to it every time. So after when you're done, if you're offline, you'll see that you're offline. So then you're gonna go through that same hole where the anchor knot goes into, through the inside to the outside. And then you're gonna tie these off right here. Yeah, I'll just do a simple, just 
a simple knot like that, does the job. And there you go, that's your shooting lace. So now we're gonna move on to the cord. For our Apollo pocket, we use two of these. Some people like to use one, we use two. So you're gonna put them both in. This is the hole right above the anchor knot. So four from the top. You're gonna skip one row of diamonds. So this row right here that goes along the top of the shooting string, you're gonna skip that and you're going up to this nine diamond row. So you're gonna take the first cord. Again, I like to even them out before I do this. You're gonna go through the first diamond. This is the third from the top. Remember, so it's the same as this. So this string on the back side of the head is always on the bottom. The one on the front side, always on the top. And it's gonna come out where they cross just like that every time. Bottom, top, bottom, top. Boom, boom. Just like that. And once you do it a bunch, you're gonna get a lot faster at it. It's gonna feel a lot more like second nature. Um, you're gonna go in through that same hole. So it's the fourth hole down over here. And then usually before I tie that one off, I do the second one. So when you're done with this, you wanna make sure everything looks good. Everything's nice and crossed. So here we go. Again, this one bottom, this one top. So you're gonna go here, go through this pretty quick. And then once you get through this part, you're gonna have these two ends over here. So you just wanna make sure you have the same string and you can just tie a nice simple knot here. A little square knot. Do that one again. Make sure those are nice and tight so they don't go anywhere. And then you can cut these probably leave like two or three inches. Same with this one, just in case you need to tighten it or loosen it. Um, if your stick's throwing a little bit down, you're gonna wanna loosen this one up a little bit. Um, if it's thrown a little high, you can tighten this and it can uh, just change how the, how the stick throws. So yeah, those are your shooting strings and your shooter cords and your stick's all dialed up and ready to go. Thanks for tuning in guys. It was fun teaching you a thing or two about the Powell Pocket. If you have any further questions, leave them down below. Shoot us a follow on all our social media platforms and we'll have some cool stuff coming pretty soon. Thanks guys.